Before I get into, is this fight worth $40? I want to give y'all a little bit of history about Charles Martin and my channel. Way before anybody knew who Charles Martin was, way before anybody knew who Anthony Joshua was or Dillian White, I knew who Charles Martin was because me and a guy from the UK years ago, we're going back and forth about future champions from America, from England. He told me about his prospects, who was Dillian White, Anthony Joshua, mainly Anthony Joshua. And I told him about Charles Martin, that I thought he would be a champion one day. And lo and behold, he got the title. However, before that, he also said that there's no way Martin would be able to beat AJ. Now, at that time, AJ looked very <sighs> unpolished to me early in his career. He was very stiff, not a lot of head movement and relied more on brute force than he did actual technical skills. You know, he has improved. So I looked at it like there's no way Anthony Joshua can beat Charles Martin. Lo and behold, going into the future, Charles Martin gets a title, like I said he would, and then in his first defense, he fights Anthony Joshua. So me and the guy from the UK were right there, all in to talk about it right now. I will tell y'all this, disclaimer. When they had their bout, I knew AJ was going to beat Martin because I watched AJ improve from when I first saw him. But, hey, we made this bet years ago, <laughs> probably about a year to a year and a half before they actually fought, maybe two years before they actually fought. So it was too late. I already made my choice and I wasn't going to turn back, even though I felt like Martin was probably going to lose. So they fought. AJ beat him. He was right. Martin lost. However... Charles Martin is a good fighter, in my opinion. I think a lot of people don't give him the credit that he's due because of the AJ fight. Although I have said multiple times, I believe that that fight was stopped prematurely. Martin was not hurt. Martin beat the count, but they still stopped the fight. Now, I'm not saying Martin would have came back to win the fight because it was clear that AJ at that time was just way above his skill level. But it was stopped very prematurely. So we don't know. Now, moving past that, Charles Martin came back from that loss to get two knockouts. His last fight that he had was against Michael Moreau before he went on an over-year layoff from the ring. So he got out of the ring for over a year. When he came back, he fought Old Naki. That's right, we call him Old Naki around here. The dude is not a baby face. He looks like an English bulldog in the face. He looks old. Body looks like Tyson Fury when he'll be 80. F that dude. I'm happy that dude has been knocked out and he's done with boxing. Not a baby face. Don't like him. I'd slap him in real life. For what reason? I don't know. I just don't like him. So he comes back to fight old Naki after a long layoff and he looks bad. However, if it would have been a 12 round fight, you can see that he started to come on late. And if it would have been a 12 round fight, more than likely he would have finished old Naki because he started really piecing him up around the seventh. 8th, ninth, 10th round. Really, in that ninth and 10th round, he really started to come on strong. So if he had two more rounds, he probably would have got him out there. Plus, Onaki was not looking good. The point of this is this. Since Martin fought Gerald Washington, he has been out of the ring for almost two years. Maybe two years by the time it rolls around. I don't remember exactly, but I know it's around two years, close to two years by the time he gets in there on the first with Luis Ortiz. Point of that is, he looked very bad with a long layoff, and now he's coming off of an even longer layoff. So he might be one of them fighters that cannot be inactive, or they don't look the same. And that's what worries me in this fight. He's been out of the ring for double the time that he looked bad the first time that he had a long layoff. And Luis Ortiz, despite what people say about him being old, and I've said that too, the dude can still box. He's still a decent boxer, and you can't come in there half-stepping. Do I think he's an elite boxer? No. At this stage and point, I don't. You stretch him out to the sixth, seventh round, and he's finished. All you got to do is survive him. Put pressure on him and survive him or make him pressure you and miss shots. That's it. And he'll lose 100 out of 100 times. Just stretch it out. Sixth, seventh round, he'll be so winded that you can get him out of there in between the, the 7th to 10th or 12th round, depending on what type of fight it is. That's just the fact of the matter. Luis Ortiz cannot go into deep waters anymore. He doesn't have the lungs for it. So, again, 
If Charles Martin can stretch out the fight and doesn't look bad and doesn't get knocked out early, then he could eat, win this easily, in my opinion. However, if he looks as bad as he did against Onaki, I would not be surprised if Luis Ortiz gets him out of there pretty early into this fight. Both guys have a lot of power. I believe Charles Martin's got around an 80% knockout ratio, and I'm not sure what Luis Ortiz is, but they both can bang. So, again... Dangerous fight for both guys. I would like to see Charles Martin win, but I don't know if he will. Now, do I feel like this fight is worth $40? Not really. I don't. I'm sorry. If it was on a subscription, say like The Zone, where you're just paying $20 a month and you get it, sure, why not? Or if the pay-per-view was like $10, $20, sure, why not? And even though $40 isn't a lot, I just, I don't feel like this is a, is a, pay-per-view worthy fight you got one guy who hasn't fought for two years and i'm not quite sure when the last time Luis ortiz fought i i really don't know it's been at least a year i believe i think flores was the last person he fought and i i know that was like in 2020 but i think i think it was in late 2020 when he fought flores so it's been over a year for him as well so combined they've both been out of the ring combined three years of inexperience inactiveness three years shouldn't have said inexperience but inactiveness they've been inactive for three years combined and this isn't the type of fight that you pay for if you want to pay for it by all means do it i'm nobody to tell you where to put your money but i i personally don't think it's a good fight to pay for even though i like charles martin even though i supported charles martin Early on in his career, before anybody knew who he was, before he was a champion, before he fought AJ, before he came back from that. I just, when I look at it, I don't see the value. But again, if you do, by all means, buy it. Because I am not somebody who's going to tell you where to spend your money, how to spend your money. I don't even turn on super chats because I don't like people sending me their money, especially in times where money is so tight. So let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Do y'all think this is a pay-per-view worthy fight? Do y'all disagree with me that it is? Do y'all agree with me that it isn't? Are you going to buy the fight? And if you are going to buy the fight, why are you buying it for this fight or another fight that's on the card? Again, I like Charles Martin. I like to see Charles Martin win. I think he can win. I just think, just like I did my prediction with Deontay Wilder going in there the second time with Luis Ortiz, you got to be careful early. You can stretch out the fight. You will knock him out. If you can't, you might get knocked out. But again, let me know what y'all think before I go on another tangent.